hello my people it's a boy again how you guys doing good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are very much doing okay today is sunday go to church christians worship god and for those of you who are not married go to church and pray to, to god for companionship pray to him he might give you a boyfriend next minute well, speaking of her boyfriend, uh, David Do, logistic manager, Israel. Well, guess what, guys? The guy and his wife have officially separated. Officially separated this time. This is how we know. Israel decided to share a picture of himself and his wife. And he, and he simply wrote, he said, my wife. Then the lady immediately responded, In your effy dreams. Ah! Israel, you the mumu like this. So you mean, say, after spending so much money, after spending so much things, all your friends, David Do friend, spend so much. David Do and Choma came to your wedding. And just for you to separate from your wife? But guess what happened though? Apparently, the money sprayed at Israel's wedding. The money given to Israel amounting to millions of naira. The wife was asking for the money because apparently the wife said the money belongs to her. Every money sprayed in allocation, women usually the, the women family usually take the money. But Israel said, "Lala, you no know, bring that money out." So the whole quarrel started because Israel refused to give the money to his wife. And uh, the wife said, Israel is stingy. Israel is extremely stingy. <laughs> he said, Israel is extremely stingy. Well, girl, you played yourself. Don't you know you played yourself? <laughs> You played yourself. Looking at Israel, though, you know Israel is stingy, honestly. Looking at him. Just just, just look at Israel, guys. The guy gets stingy trees in him, honestly. But the girl played herself. Played herself, honestly. Really, really played herself. Maybe she thought Israel is close to David, though. So millions everywhere. Uh, yeah, there is definitely money everywhere. If Israel don't make money for that wedding, eh? ah, Israel will make close to like 50 million, 100 million. Naira. Let's be honest, with the money spread at that wedding, come on, man. There will be the Kubana chief priest, Pokoli, all of them. They, 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 they spray money well though, for Israel. So Israel made money that day. So you for at least give your wives quarter of the money now. Uh -uh. And uh, it's good though. If they are not compatible, if they marry, the reason why they marry each other was because to share wealth. So let them go now. It's not to start family and they build a family. So they should go their separate ways. There are men who are extremely stingy with the money they have. And they will kind of like subject a woman to mental, physical uh, tribulations. So if you are a woman, you cannot tolerate it, move out. But this girl just married now in less than a year. You, you you divorce immediately. Ah, which other man will want to come marry you now? Ah, because every man may go deal. You know, say this guy don't even marry Israel, and because they say they Israel no give her money, automatically you have branded yourself to be a money hungry woman. Well, I do not know the entire story though, but that is what is available on the internet. So if that is the story, then I think. The woman actually really trapped and said, Man, girls do not give a F. This reserve, that one, eh, man, Namumu. Namumu, honestly speaking, <laughs> how can you marry a woman you are not sure of that has that such, such traits? And you are not ready as a, uh, 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 as a man. Guy, you are not serious. People just spend money, spend money, come your way, they finish. Spend money to spread you. At the end of the day, the marriage no last. Come marry again, may you check if anybody will come. 
this drink. Come marry again, huh? We'll check if anybody will call. Then, still speaking on marriage, check out this, uh, check out this, uh, this woman, what uh, she said. She said, I remember late last year, I had told my friend that my then boyfriend was planning to marry me. She laughed and said, you know why enjoy your single life, Abby? So, I rejected his proposal. Fast forward, a year later, she is married with a child. And there, and here I am, will be 30 next year. Good for you. I don't blame that girl. There are some friends that make such jokes. Ah, you don't want to enjoy your marriage, but want to go marry now. But you, Mumu, you, it was never in your mind to get married to that, to that man. So thank God. You made it easy for that man. God has already pushed you. No, no, it's not that girl. You are you were not a good wife. And God knew that man's heart. So God pushed you away. So you weren't even ready. Don't blame it on your friend. Nah. Don't blame it on your friend. You you weren't even ready. If you were ready to marry, you won't even be asking. You won't even tolerate such uh, such uh, such uh, Respond from your friend. Say, please stop that rubbish uh, response. But you weren't happy. You are a devil advocate. So God had to remove you from that man's destiny. Devil advocate. You are knowingly to you. You were a devil advocate. Then check out this popular video of uh, this uh, couple who were dancing and a very popular musician came in to perform. Surprising the woman, surprising the woman, the woman lost total control of herself. Total control of herself, parabolating like an agbero woman, Ninel and all this musician, right, like like almost giving a head. Her face was almost above his waist. Definitely, the man's cucumber was touching her breast. Let's be honest. The man's cucumber was touching her breast, and the groom was just standing confused. Confused. And the groom was even telling him, Stand up! Like stylishly, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. If she went on to hug the man. Oh God. Oh Gomen, you guys can make silly mistakes. And you will think this is just a mistake. It doesn't mean nothing. Silly mistakes. Some people who have never gotten married before, some people do not know what it takes to be married. Some people do not know what it takes to even propose to a girl to set up a wedding will be commenting rubbish. So we say, oh, it's not the woman is having fun, enjoying her marriage. No, if it was me to be that group, what lie, I walk away from that place. I will just tell you, I will remove the man from the musician. Who the hell are you, musician? Be it you are David, do. Are you the, the did you pay for the wedding ceremony? It might even be that the man uh, brought that musician to surprise his wife. Are you the one that paid for the wedding? I will remove it. I don't say hello, ladies and gentlemen. Please, it seems like my wife wants to get married to this uh, musician, so I am off this wedding. Drop the mic and just leave. Let's see what we have. This is how you make mistake. Men make mistake. By the time they start disrespecting you in your house, you don't know. You say, "Oh, you never saw this coming. You never knew she was disrespectful. You never knew she carried pastor Mata on top of head." You never knew she was the one that uh, respect her pastor, respect musician more than you. You are being stupid and foolish. You knew, but you ignored it. You knew. So let's move past that. Let's talk about MS. MS is a former Big Brother Nigeria housemate. And for those of you who know MS very well, MS was interviewed, asked a question while in Big Brother Nigeria house. They asked, why? 
Why uh, does he speak like a white, a black American? He said he trained himself over the years to speak like that. So yesterday he was trying to narrate the situation that happened to him. And after narrating the situation, a woman from nowhere, a filmmaker, wasn't happy with the way Hermes was sounding. Check it out, guys. Nah, GT Bank. I was going to be calm about it, but I absolutely need an explanation to why y'all invite me to an event and I get there. Security checking for my name three times over the list. After the third time, they fold in the list and they're looking at me like I'm not supposed to be there. My representatives are there looking at all of this happen and they say nothing. Like, I absolutely need an explanation as to why all of that happened. Then this, uh, this woman said, where is this British accent coming, Hermes? They listened to the explanation from Hermes. And for all of the way they talk, say the accent one thing, one thing, one thing. Like, guys, um, <laughs> if you wouldn't admit it, I know how much hard work I put into reinventing myself i know exactly where i come from or shaky to be exact it's a slum and i feel it now when dave said that um a lot of people want to make it out but nobody wants anyone to make it out um so you people hear me speak like this before i feel talk like this like imagine how much work i put in myself imagine how much work i've done to be able to sound like this each of the talents that I have talking, you hear me talk now, I worked on this and I would practice how to stress sentences, how to stress um, words, how to sound like this, like I worked on myself. It's easy for someone who grew up around this kind of accent to pick it up. I literally had to reinvent myself. So that's a lot of hard work. I'm very proud of it. Yes, I learned how to. MS, I better continue. MS never formed, like he never had to feel to be. When he was asked that question, why Bill Brown and Jazz, he said, I've never traveled out to anywhere. I had to learn myself, like I have to teach myself how to sound like this. So if you don't know the meaning of commitment and teaching yourself on certain things in life, then you don't have the right to query him over his accent. You don't. People, there are some people who stay in their bedroom to learn how to speak French. Even Chi uh, Chinese language, they learn how to speak it in their bedroom. Months, years. So why can't Hamels not try himself to sound like British? What's so wrong with that? Haven't you seen people sounding like Jamaicans? Bumble Clark. What's wrong? Have you ever seen Americans trying to sound like uh, uh, Nigerians nowadays, trying to speak Yoruba? What is wrong? Why do people just speak quarter from anywhere? They just speak things from anywhere. They just want to go. They just want to make it look like, you no, know, it's, it's crazy. It's really crazy and tiring. They just pick things from anywhere. 